François. Hello François. Hello François and welcome to the UAE. Charlotte, it seems to me that since you're a visitor in India, you've really decided to live stream enlightenment on every screen in Dubai. Yes, François. I thought I'd try a more curated version of Serenity. Well, let me tell you here, between extreme heat and constant innovation, Serenity takes a whole new meaning. everyone, welcome to the United Arab Emirates for a new episode of our 360 anniversary tour. And in this episode, we take a look at a fundamental question, how can comfort for all be improved? In such a hot and fast evolving environment, it is crucial that we rethink about how we design for comfort, not only to protect the planet, but also to meet the needs of everyone. <laughs> Thermal comfort is a key priority here in the UAA. But how can we make this sustainable? To discuss this, we shall now meet with Surabi Sarat. When we speak of thermal comfort, most of the time we think of air conditioning, which is, as you know, extremely damaging for the climate. So is there a way to reconcile thermal comfort with sustainability? Absolutely. We need to design facades in such a way that they cut out the heat while allowing ample amounts of daylighting. That reduces the amount of artificial lighting that we are dependent on. And at the same time, it reduces the amount of cooling loads within the space, reducing the overall electricity use during the year. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how Saint-Gobain products and solutions can help you? We often specify Saint-Gobain products to our clients because it provides us the right balance between two factors within glazing, which is something that has maximum VLT allowing a lot of light while reducing the SFGC, which is the heat gain component of the daylight. Surabi, so, that was really enlightening. Thank you so much. But hey, comfort is not just about thermal comfort. We are now at Al Muntada, the amazing knowledge space of Saint Gobain. Al Muntada in Arabic means the forum. It's a proof of concept that beautiful buildings can be sustainable. The building is all about comfort and well-being, right? Tell us about the solutions that you have used to create that atmosphere. So we have used one of the highest performance glass solutions by Saint-Gobain, which makes it clear from inside and outside, and it has a very low U value, so it will not attract the heat inside the space. On all the non-visual facades, we've used thermal insulation to encapsulate the coolness inside the space, lightweight facade systems, and from an acoustic perspective, of course, we used GPROC perforated gypsum boards. And these colorful baffles, they are made out of glass wool to absorb the sounds. So even when we have plenty of people in the room, you will not hear any echo nice. inside the space. Obviously, we need air conditioning in the building. It's crazy hot outside, but very cool inside. But what is amazing, Miriam, is that we don't hear the AC. How is that possible? Because we used Klimaver, our high-performance acoustic duct solution, which is pre-insulated. You cannot hear the flow of the air inside the duct. And we are back in Dubai, this time to explore another key pillar of comfort, that is visual comfort. Bianca. What does it take to design a space that truly offers visual comfort? Visual comfort is no longer a luxury. It's a necessity. And for us, it's really about how people experience the space. Not just physically, but also to a certain degree emotionally. How does it make them feel? What is it that they experience when they are in these spaces? Mm -hmm. The materials, the textures, the colors, the lighting quality is essentially what will make up that visual comfort experience. Speaking of materials, you do use products and solutions from Saint-Gobain. Can you tell us what are the advantages that you see in them? Saint-Gobain for us is a an incredible partner to mm. work with. They not only have a rich history, 360 years young, yeah. um, <laughs> but they're also an exceptionally innovative company. We appreciate working with them in terms of the support that mm. we receive when we are going through a project process in terms of specifications, selections, having real-time input on some of those products that will not only shape the spaces, but also really tie back to that sustainability. So important. 
important when we are designing. To wrap up this episode, we shall now head to the Weber and Giprop brands of Saint-Gobain to see how materials are boosting both comfort and sustainability in buildings. Dorian, we're here in the Giprop factory. Can you tell us about the gypsum boards that are produced just right here? We opened this factory 15 years ago and over the years, we've been able to reduce the weight of the board. We are reducing the amount of raw material we're using, the amount of water we're using, so the embodied carbon of each board is going down. But we can do much more. We can do gypsum board with very high recycling content. Outside, I will show you what we're doing to achieve this. So a year ago, we started to train the contractor to segregate the waste on site. The truck from saint gobain Weber, they are collecting the waste and then they are delivering the waste to Giproc. This waste then is crunched. We are separating the paper from the gypsum and then it's reintroduced into the process. If you can nail that, then you can increase the recycling content into the board. And we've been able to launch Giproc Infinae with 33% of recycling content. As an industrial, we are reducing our environmental impact without compromising on the performance of our product, but with a high recycling content. Wow. Throughout this episode, we have seen how various dimensions of comfort, thermal comfort of course, but also acoustic and visual comfort, are transforming our built environments. When we focus on sustainability, we do not just improve the way we live today, but we also create spaces that will support future generations and ultimately make the world a better home. Next month, join Charlotte in Poland as we explore how local initiatives are promoting and boosting sustainable construction. So stay tuned.